Thank you. How are you this morning? I'm great. How are you? Doing all right. Doing all right. Trying to get all this weird tech. Figure it out. All right. I think it's just the two of us this morning. Um, so um, uh, you're you're upside down. So I don't know what that means. Okay. Um. Jan, is that, Jan, is that any better? Yes. Yeah. Are we, are we good? I think so. We're trying to figure out sound and make sure everybody can hear everything. So, can people hear Faith? Yes. Awesome. Wendy says yes. Good. Okay. So, we're just going to start sitting comfortably in our chair. I recommend hands. Face up, finger back, and if you're comfortable, close your eyes and just feel your feet on the floor. Feel the weight that your body puts in your feet. Maybe wiggle your toes inside your shoes or socks or slippers. Feel what that does to the ball of your foot or to that space behind your little toe. And just breathe. Just be in this moment. Our first scripture today is Ecclesiastes 3 11 to 13. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity into man's mind, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Also, that God's gift to man that everyone should eat and drink and take pleasure in all his toil. 
take Saul down the way. Um, you follow me as a human. And I've done a lot of reading of Psalms and the um, Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, and just so all that wisdom and the choices that man made, I would never understand. But I do know that it wasn't wrong. It's way it things. And sometimes we lose that sense of wonder and gratitude for the moment that we're in. Sometimes we lose that sense of wonder and gratitude for the stuff that we're on. So in this moment, wiggling our toes, feeling the air on our skin, let's dig into that. All right. So we're just going to sit up nice and straight. And we're going to take an inhale. So we'll cut and exhale, and we're going to gently fold forward over our legs. Then we're going to take an inhale in this position and we're going to reach our right hand into the air. So just fold it down. We're a little stuck. And then exhale and lower our hand to the ground. And then inhale and raise the other arm. Is it different on this side? Exhale back down to the ground. And then on an inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, bring our hands to our sides. Then take an inhale. And just lean backwards just a little bit, pushing your chest forward. A little bit of a back bend to open our heart up to what the Lord wants to say to us today. Inhale back to straight. And then as we exhale, we want to twist to the right. So we're going to put our left hand on our right knee and our right arm on like the back of the chair. We're going to twist just for a second. Again, it's just that little bit uncomfortable. Inhale and come back to the center. Exhale and twist to the other side now. Inhale, come back to center. And on the exhale, we're going to fold forward again, just one more time. Not as long this time. Okay. Inhale and bring our arms back up, reach for the sky. Exhale and bring our hands back down to our back. Just waking up a little bit this morning. We're going to do that a couple more times, just a little bit faster so that our spine wakes up and it gets comfortable with the movement in the chair. So um, give me a shout out if, if something's not working for you. Unfortunately, when I turn my iPad on, <laughs> um, you get a lot of reverb when you guys can't hear me. So we left the sound on so that you can let me know. All right. On an inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, while you're still folded, reach that right arm high. Exhale, put it back down. Inhale, reach the left arm high. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, stay sitting up tall. Exhale, opening up our heart. Inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up tall. Exhale, hands to our back. This little sequence is one we'll come back to a couple of times as we work because it gives us a chance to reconnect to our feet on the ground and our energy in our body. Our first breathing is a long one. So let's sit quietly for a second. Psalm 95. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are also his. The sea is his, for he made it. For his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. I think the key word there is today, right? Again, we're talking about being in the moment and having gratitude and joy in this moment. Okay, so these next couple of moves, all right, are gonna have us wiggle on a bit in the chair. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna lean just a little bit forward, not all the way forward in the forward fold, but just a little bit forward. We're gonna lift our arms in the air, and then we're gonna push as if we're about to get out of the chair, not all the way, just a little bit. So we're gonna just hover over the chair, just a tiny bit for just a minute. One, two, three, and we're going to sit back down. And as we exhale, we're going to fold forward again just for a minute to rest our back. And we're going to inhale up, and we're going to heel toe our right foot to the outside of the chair. And we're going to slide our left foot out just a little bit, right? It doesn't have to be straight or, or perfect, right? Then on an exhale, we're going to lower our left hand towards the ground or to our leg and hold that arm in the air. Again, we're twisted. It's uncomfortable. Maybe it's hard to breathe. Being able to make this motion, what can I be grateful for for that? On an exhale, lower the top hand from the air to your body, and then raise the other arm up over your ear so that you're one long line. Exhale, lower your arm and sit back up in the chair and heel toe your feet back to the mat so that you're comfortable. Right. We're going to 
Just take a minute and go through our little twists. So inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right arm in the air. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left arm reaching. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, open our hearts. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, hands to our back. Just take a couple of breaths here. How does your body feel? I'm done now. <laughs> All right, and just like on the other side, because I'm going to do on one side and do on the other. You want to heel toe that leg open to the side of the chair. And then you want to extend that right leg out just a little bit. And if for some reason your hip is bothering you, if you come closer to the edge of the chair, it gives that hip more room to move. You have that as an option. Right. I can squeeze back here. Oh, this is better. Are we good? Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go back to our, our little awkward chair um, pose. So we're going to take an inhale, lean just a little bit forward, like we're getting out of that chair. I'm going to spend three breaths just hovering over the chair for just real quick. One, two, Breathe and just touch right back down. Exhale and pull forward. Inhale and come back up. And now we open up so we can do our little twists. So we scoot to the end of the chair. Push your leg out. Then we take that right hand and we drop it towards the ground. We're on the short body. Reach high into the air. Is the side kind of different? Is breathing hard here? All right, bring that top arm down to the thigh. And then bring that right arm up over your ear. So we're on one long line on this side now. Inhale, both hands up overhead. Walk those feet back in front. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, twist and reach that right arm up. Exhale, put it down. Inhale, reach that left arm up. Exhale, put it down. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, open that heart up. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, come back to that seated posture where we can feel our feet on the floor. Maybe have our hands up in our lap. We'll wiggle our toes a little bit. Find our breath and our space again. John 1 16, and from his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. My family and I are traveling for the holiday. And um, as, as a human who I deeply need regularity in my life, <laughs> as much as I love to travel, the preparing for it is hard. But it has been such a time of gratitude for me this week because Chris has been home on vacation and we have had the most wonderful times together, even doing things like folding laundry. After a season of our life that has just been so busy to slow down and do small things, be grateful for the tiny toils of folding little boy pants and trying to pack all of us into a suitcase. <laughs> it's been the kind of work that did have joy in it. And it was its own kind of grace. What do you have like that that you've experienced this week or that you anticipate experiencing in the week to come? What do you have that you can have gratitude for in this moment? So the sequence we're doing today builds on itself. We do a little piece at a time and we add to it. So we're going to come back to our chair hover, but just for one breath this time. So inhale and push up out of the chair. Big deep breath. Exhale, sit back down. We're going to open up that leg. Scoot forward. And we're going to twist high. One big deep breath. And we're going to switch hands. Now we're going to bring this top hand down behind our back. And we're going to take the hand from on our knee and clasp that behind our back. And just lean gently forward over that top. The name of this post is Humble Warrior. And as we go into a season of rampant humans, and <laughs> for a lot of us tiny kids, whether they're our own or other people's, right, we're reminded of how humble we are God's children and how our excitement never manages to tax him. All right, we're going to release our hands. And bring them forward and start to come straight up. Again, we're going to open our heart just a little bit of a back bend here. Can you feel your feet pushing into the ground? Can you feel the energy in your body reaching for the sky? What are you grateful for this week? exhale, we're going to just go ahead and we're going to lower both hands to that front five and we're going to lean forward like we're charging away. This is a time of loving in our life. It's a time of Movement. Can you be grateful for this quiet moment? This quiet space. Yeah. Slowly sit back up and let's walk our feet back into the front. We're going to inhale into our little sequence. So, arms overhead, 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right arm twists high. Exhale, put it back down. Inhale, left arm twists high. Exhale, put it back down. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, open up. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, reaching high. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reaching high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reaching high. Exhale, hands to our lap. Psalm 18, 49. For this I will extol thee, O Lord, among the nations, and sing praises to thy name. As we approach the Lord with Thanksgiving this morning, what is one thing, the smallest thing, that we can be grateful for? So we're coming back to our, our little awkward chair. Ready? Inhale, push up just a little bit. Exhale, sit back down. And scooch open our legs here. Inhale. And twist and reach high. Exhale. And we're going to change sides here. On an exhale, we're going to bring our hands behind us, and we're just going to gently fold over that front leg again. We're back in that humble space. Now lift up all the way. And again, opening the heart just a little bit. What does it feel like to take a breath here? To try and rest in this place. On exhale, bring those hands down to the thigh and just lean into it again. We're dashing. Gently sit back up and walk your feet back in. Good job, ladies. We'll take our little sequence again. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right arm near. And exhale, drop it down. Inhale, left arm near. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, open your heart. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, hands to your lap. Psalm 26, 3, for thy steadfast love is before my eyes 
and I walk in faithfulness to thee. So much of the world we live in right now is filled with anxiety. COVID numbers are rising. People are deciding masks aren't important anymore. As I said here without my own, but I am alone in the church, so it it's a scary place. But at the same time, it's wonderful because we have God's love to lean into. We have that steadfast moment that he gives us. Take a deep breath. Be grateful for that moment, knowing that God loves us. Knowing that we are walking to him with each breath and each step. We put our last two pieces together. We'll do them just as, as simply. So we're going to inhale, pop out of the chair just for a second. Exhale back down. We'll walk our legs open. We'll inhale like this. Exhale to switch sides. Is to be just a little bit uncomfortable on that right side. Kind of stretch it out. We're using our lungs to massage our ribs. On the next step, we're going to come back to that, that elbow on the thigh. We're going to swing that arm right back up over here again to go ahead and stretch out the other side. All the way up to a star shape. So we're going to walk our feet back together and we're going to lift our arms overhead. So our legs are, are, are spread just a little bit apart at the edges of the chair and our hands are just reaching and reaching, getting nice and long. Can you feel the energy running in your hands, reaching for the sky? And on an exhale, without moving your legs, just fold forward again like you've been doing, just gently. If you need to, support yourself by putting your hands on your thighs just above your knees. You know, don't, you don't want to lose balance and tumble out of the chair. And inhale, lift your hands high, walk your feet back together. Exhale and bring your hands back to your back. All 
All right, we're gonna do our little sequence and then do the other side. So we inhale our arms up high overhead, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, raise that right arm, exhale, drop it back down. Inhale, raise that left arm, exhale, drop it back down. Inhale, lift your hands high. Exhale, open up your heart. Inhale, lift your hands high. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift your hands high. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, lift your hands high. Exhale, place your hands in your lap. Psalm 30, verse 4. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to his holy name. What can we be thankful for in this moment? God has given me the gift of the peace of the chapel and the quiet of the church. And I am immensely grateful as I know the next sort of week of my family being home will be its own kind of chaos. And so just this quiet moment of peace. Excellent. All right, we're going to come back to our little awkward chair that we do, right? Just like we did on the last side, we won't stay long. So inhale up, just gently out of the chair. Big deep breath. Exhale down. Good work. And I'll open that up. Scoot to the edge of my chair so I have a little more room. I'm going to inhale and exhale, twist and reach high. One exhale, I'm going to bring that upper arm down and I'm going to swing that lower arm up. One exhale, I'm going to clasp my hands behind my back and I'm going to lean over that leg. I just have a moment to be that humble aware. On an inhale, I'm going to swing my arms up, reach for the sky, and my heart just a little bit. On an exhale, I'm going to dash. I'm going to take my right hand and put it behind my back. I'm gonna sweep that left arm up and away. I'm gonna take, take a couple of deep breaths here and massage those ribs with my breath. On an exhale, I'm going to bring that arm down to my thigh again and swing that back arm up and over my ear. I'm going to open up that other side. Inhale, open my arms up and match them to my legs. So I'm right at the edge of the chair. Nice and wide, reaching for God today.
And again, with an exhale, I'm going to put my hands right on my thighs. And without moving my legs, I'm going to leave them wide. And on the exhale, I'm going to fold forward again. Inhale tall, just squeeze, squeeze my legs back together. On the exhale, put my hands in my lap for just a moment. Psalm 68 19. Blessed be the Lord who daily bears us up. God is our salvation. Okay, we're going to do a couple of, of poses that are just a little more sedentary. So you want to scoot so that you are comfortably against the back of your chair um, so that you feel supported. And we're going to take our right leg and we're going to lift it up and we're going to place our ankle above the knee, not on the knee, but above the knee. And we're going to exert just a little bit of pressure. For some people, this is enough strain, and that's fine, right? We're going for just a little bit of sensation. We don't want any pain. There should be pinching or numbness. The goal here is to just feel, okay? If you need a little more sensation, you can push into that knee, and it'll open up your hip a little bit and give you a little stretch, right? If the chair that you're sitting in restricts you from moving your leg, you can ease yourself a little forward. Um, I have a body made of rubber bands, so um, I can bend in a lot of odd ways. So I tend to sit at the edge of my seat. But just a little bit of pressure to feel the stretch in your leg there in the hip. And we're gonna just sit here for a minute. We're going to gently lift our foot and place it back on the ground. I find sometimes I have to actually guide it in order to, to make sure I don't injure myself. So, and then just gently sort of windshield wiper your knees back and forth in the chair and bring some sensation there. All right, we're going to do the other side. So we're going to lift that right leg up, or that left leg up, sorry. And again, not directly on the knee, just a little bit closer to your body to prevent injuring the joint. And then remember, each side of your body is going to react differently to a posture, and you want to be careful because, especially if you have tight hips or have had a replacement or anything like that, it's going to feel different and it's going to connect differently. So be gentle with yourself because we've had these poses a long time. Okay? So just take a deep breath. Just have a little bit of pressure. Talk about 
thoughts think about being grateful in times of difficulty. And I forced the ladies to sit in this pose because it's really solid <laughs> And uh, I, I don't know if they had any gratitude at the end, but they, they were very happy with it. And it was exciting because we were able to find some peace. What did you find when you said this pose? Let's put that foot back on the ground now. So gently. So we move it back and forth a little bit. So we're ending a little early today. I have one final scripture, Psalm 75, 4. We give thanks to thee, O God. We give thanks. We call on thy name and recount thy wondrous deeds. Find a way to feel comfortably supported in your chair. We're going to be here for probably three or four minutes. We're going to take some silence. Just have your hands in your lap or on your belly or your chest, somewhere comfortable. Take a deep breath. It's easy to look at the big things in our life, those exciting moments be grateful for them. It's easy to look at the catastrophes in the world around us and ask why. But in these next few quiet moments, as you sit here listening to your breath, You feel your body in the chair, your feet on the floor. What can you be grateful for? Can you find a small thing? Can you find a hard thing? Can you find a big thing? most important part of what we do today and every day is to be thankful for the breath we're on and the moment we're in. So take this moment to rest in the Lord's hands. Feel him wrapped around you in your chair.
Straighten our chairs. Take a big deep breath, raising our arms overhead. Exhaling and bringing our hands back to our lap. Let's just take a moment and pray together. Lord, as we spend this next period of time with family or friends or alone in the house or whatever our, our destination is, call us to a space of gratitude. Call us to a place where we can be quiet with you thankful for that peaceful moment. Help us to find space in the hubba or comfort in the silence. Lord, we seek nothing more than to be in your presence. So as we go forward today and every day, we ask that you fill our hearts with that worshipful gratitude that your wondrous deeds and salvation provide. In the name of your Son, we pray. Amen. And as yogis, the divine light in me honors the divine light in you. Namaste, ladies. I hope you had a good time and we do not have practice on Saturday. We are uh, together again on December 4th and I will send emails this weekend with a new link and all the fun things. It was great to practice with you. Thank you. Thank you, Faith. Happy Thanksgiving. You too.